Advisor. Thank you for joining us today at Admiralty's EduSafe Merit Bursary Award Ceremony 2021. Would you like to say a few words to the award recipient? Heartiest congratulations to all of the uh, award winners this year. This has been a very different award ceremony. For those of you who are here in previous years, you probably remember we tried to use uh, the award ceremony as an opportunity for interactions. We put you together at tables with your neighbours. Obviously, all that is not possible this year. So you'd all be queuing up, getting the award with as little interaction as possible. My apologies for that. But despite that, I think it's also still important for us to recognise your achievements in the community. And these are achievements covering a whole variety of different areas, including character, leadership, academic results, as well as progress. So this, I think, recognises that you know academic achievement is not just the only part that's important in education, but there are a whole wide variety of different areas of achievement that we recognise. We also do this recognition in the community for two reasons. One, to recognise the award winners in the community, but two, also for the award winners to recognise that they are a part of the community. And we hope they also use the chance to show your gratitude to the other people in the community who have helped you along this way. This will include your parents, your teachers, and also all the others around you who may have made a difference to you in some way or other. I hope that this will be good recognition of what you've done so far, and you'll continue to be resilient and strong and to continue to strive to do well in the year ahead. It looks like the year ahead is going to be better than the last one, but I think we should still all be strong. Do you have any tips or life skills that you'd like to share with the award recipients and their family members here with us today? Well, I won't pretend to be able to give life advice, but I think, um, you know, given what we've been through with COVID-19, I think it's important for all of us to be adaptable, you know, to realize that things can change at a moment's notice and to realize that we can adapt. So, you know, we need to be flexible. We also need to, I think, look out for other people when times are difficult. But at the same time, you know, do what we can to help others in that process. I think it's also, important to especially reach out for vulnerable members in your family or your circle of friends and you know to realize that everyone has needs and vulnerabilities but also that everyone can make a difference and I hope you know everyone tries to make that difference. To be adaptable and also to lend a helping hand and help out in the community to those who are in need. That's a good summary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So right now, we'll ask you a series of questions. Are you ready? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin. Yeah. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Cats or dogs? Um, both actually. Um, I had dogs when I was growing up. Um, now I have cats and you know, they're both uh, very affectionate companion animals, but very different of course. You have I cats like them now? Both. Yes, I How do. How many? Two. What's their names? Uh, Myrie and Aria. Oh, yeah. sounds cute. They came along with the wife, so <laughs> 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 it's actually my wife's cats. iOS or Android? Android. Day or night? Day. Mountains or beaches? Beaches. Do you have a particular reason why? I Well, I always associate beaches with uh, relaxation, with breaks, and you know, certainly before COVID, I think um, beach holidays were the best for my family because my daughter was very small. Mountains, I think, are nice as a concept. But I always find them, you know, especially if you go to a very tall mountain, a bit too cold and the air is a bit thin. So, yeah, probably not as nice um, you know, living in as being by a beach. Can you describe yourself in three words? Curious, determined and yeah, probably optimistic. Do you have a life mantra? Maybe in line with everything else I've been talking about resilience, maybe it's um, never give up. How do you de-stress from your hectic um, schedule? Probably exercise. I think I always use that to break up the day now, you know, more consciously than before. What's the top three most used app on your phone? Uh, I think Outlook is definitely the most used because of, you know, responding and dealing with emails, um, work-related. Then probably Facebook, which I update and keep tabs off, and uh, Google. Which country would you like to travel to once the travel restrictions are lifted? You know, the amazing thing is because we've been here for so long, I've actually gotten quite happy in Singapore. Mm. Um, but, you know, maybe somewhere for a nice uh, beach holiday or something. I mean, that's usually the best because I've got a small child, so just mm. somewhere where we can just go and sit down together, spend time together. Um, but maybe we'll change because we've had a lot of time together at home as well. 